All right, how's it going out there, folks? Uh, Welcome back here to a Saturday night. It is the Earthmaster out here. Uh, I am away from my computer desk currently at the moment, so I have to do this remotely uh, for the update tonight. But hey, uh, at least we got it going. Hope everyone out there is uh, having a safe evening, and uh, hopefully uh, everyone avoided that severe weather that took place out there across the uh, south today. We'll check out the weather here in just a little bit. Latest earthquake activity here on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 1.2 across the area of Alaska. Let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit uh, closer here from the USGS model. Uh, For the West Coast area, California-wise, got a slight movement out here. I'm just going to double check my microphone, make sure everything's up to date, which it is. Looks uh, like it's coming in. Uh, Again, (laughs) I'm away from the computer desk, so I'm having to do this on my... uh, on my laptop here away from the computer uh northern california not a whole lot popping there on the map today uh the latest quake a 2.4 up here across the southern end of the cascadia subduction zone about six miles deep there underneath that area Uh, some movement there across pinnacles uh, area as well today with a 3.3 that is on the san andreas fault around the creeping section there of the san andreas fault uh, looks like there may have been uh, a couple of them there. At least two above the 2.5 level. Uh, previous to that, 2.8 further down south into the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, looking at Southern California here, not a whole lot happening. Uh, some movement here across the greater Los Angeles area, but uh, nothing of any spectacular nature. Of course, I don't know if I'd call earthquake activity uh, spectacular, but it uh, looks a little quiet down there for now. Same for the Seattle area and the Washington region. Not a whole lot going on up there for now. Uh, most of the area is getting hit out here across the oil fields, including some earthquake activity in the Mississippi area. This was uh, around where the uh, tornado activity was uh, striking today. So let's take a look at that. 3.0, quite a rare earthquake out there. If that is indeed a legit earthquake, it has been reviewed by a seismologist there at the USGS. So that is a confirmed earthquake. It was felt out there, uh, just a little odd. We don't see too much earthquake activity out there in that area, about nine kilometers east-northeast of McGee, Mississippi at a 10 kilometer depth there. That's uh, really interesting. Like I say, it's a little odd to see earthquake activity that far south. And as far as it being any type of uh, hazard zone, it sits well outside the New Madrid Seismic Zone, which is further up here in the red. But uh, interesting. Tornadoes, severe weather, and now earthquakes. Originally, when that earthquake came in, I thought maybe um, a seismograph station there picked up some of the outside interference noise from the wind or a tornado, and it sent out that alert. But after review, that is a legit earthquake down there in the Mississippi three-pointer. Very interesting out there. All right, so far as the last uh, 24 hours of earthquake activity out here, the largest magnitude being a 5.1. Pretty quiet for anything large. Uh, That's in the uh, Papua New Guinea area. A little bit of movement happening here in my quiet zone. Uh, This area has been awfully quiet here in the last week as far as earthquake activity. A couple earthquakes there on the map filling in. Looks like some fours, but we'll watch this area here for some larger scale movement. Uh, in the coming days. Uh, The rest of the globe here, let's go ahead and take a look, see what else we got across the model here. Not a, like I say, not anything uh, spectacular. Newer activity here across the Philippines area southward. Uh, But aside from that, and this is just the USGS here on the globe, uh, I still have yet to update the Earthquake 3D globe here for a um, for the uh, EMSC model. So right now it's just showing the USGS model, but at home on the earthquake uh, 3D live stream, we got uh, everything there. Five pointer down into the uh, Chile area, it looks like. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. So that's it for earthquake activity. Let's go ahead and check out space weather by solarham.com. Still uh, in operation here. That's good news, right? Getting a little radio uh, blackout here on the uh, data charts. Not a whole lot of flaring happening right now. Uh, no major auroras in the forecast here, folks. Let's take a look here at the uh, latest magnetogram image. 
of the sun. This is the earth facing side of the sun. Uh, man, I, I wish I could say this is turning into something spectacular, but it's not. Um, let me let Missy Mimi's in here. There we go. Um, so as far as any major solar flare activity goes, it's pretty quiet. All the sunspots here are looking pretty quiet as well. I'm really not seeing any chance there of any, um, you know, major flaring activity. It looks, it looks awfully quiet there on the sun for now. There's numerous sunspots, but I tell you what, none of them are worth mentioning in terms of any flare potential. Uh, it's been pretty much flatlined there across the board. Uh, storm prediction sitter currently ongoing here with a moderate risk for some severe weather there across the deep south. Uh, man, they, they uh, had a lot of severe weather out there today. Let's go ahead and check out the latest reports. Now, uh, we do have uh, today's reports here from the 15th. Quite a few tornado reports there. 23 reports preliminary. This could get uh, revised, of course, and uh, updated. So we'll continue to check on that. I, I did see some damage out there across the social media accounts today. So, uh, you know, for as far as storm chasers go. But, um, yeah. That was expected. I think the Storm Prediction Center uh, nailed that forecast uh, quite nicely uh, yesterday and today. So far as the future goes, it's your door. There you go. Just go ahead and shut it all the way. Okay. Babe. That way I can focus on the light here. Um, Missy Mimi's is here with me. Say hi. How's it going, guys? Yeah, we're just uh, away from the computer desk for now, but uh, we always got to make sure we check in here on the channel and get our updates in there. Hope everyone's having a good evening. Uh, tonight, moderate risk. Tomorrow, which is day two on Sunday, slight risk continues there across the East Coast. That is quickly moving off there after doing a considerable amount of damage here in the last couple days across the Midwest and areas of the South. So, uh, man, just uh, hopefully everyone was safe out there. And, uh, you know, it's getting to the time period here where severe weather is going to start popping up. It is that uh, springtime pattern out here. Unfortunately, right? Um, let's see what else we have here as far as anything major going on. There's, like I said, there's not a whole lot. Uh, where's my tropical tidbits page right here? We'll check out the GFS model. There's all that severe weather. Heading east. Uh, California out here we got a little bit more rain coming in uh, tomorrow and um, after that looks like there's not a whole lot happening there across the country pretty decent low pressure there bringing some snow on the back side of that low a lot of colder air associated with that maybe a potential for some severe risk ahead of that we'll have to see how that plays out uh, more rain for California and Oregon and uh, that's just that is what's happening we just got a consistent weather pattern out here and um, the rain is okay by me. We need the rain out here in California, so I'm, I'm okay with that. As uh, far as the severe weather, you know, obviously we could do without it. Uh, in the meantime, folks, have yourself a uh, wonderful day out there, wonderful evening. We'll be back here in the morning for the Sunday morning update. Like I say, I'm away from the main computer desk. <coughs> but, as always, I took my cough with me. It never fails. And... Uh, We'll provide some updates here in the days ahead on what we're up to, but uh, earthquake activity and updates will continue out here. We'll continue to monitor and report back on anything here that takes place. Have a good evening, folks, and uh, we'll see you guys later.